What if I told you that building a web app could be as easy as telling a smart assistant exactly what you want to do? No coding, no complex setups, just you and your idea and an AI helping you create the app of your dreams. Sounds like pure magic, right? Well, it's not. It's happening now with Firebase Studio and let me tell you, this tool is transforming the way we build apps. Now, I have spent countless hours writing code, fixing bugs, handling complex setups and dealing with endless dependencies. But now, we have Firebase Studio, the tool that changes everything. Imagine not needing to know how to code to create a fully functional app. Firebase Studio does all the heavy lifting for you with the power of AI driving the entire process. It's the future of development and it's here. I have used Firebase Studio myself and honestly, it blew my mind. It's not just about writing code faster, it's about designing, prototyping and even deploying your app in a way that was never possible before. So whether you're a developer or just someone with an idea, Firebase Studio brings your vision to life effortlessly. So in this video, we are going to explore exactly how Firebase Studio works, how to start your project, generate AI-powered code, design stunning interfaces and deploy your app with just a few clicks. And yes, we will also take a look at a moment to compare Firebase Studio with other tools like Lovable and Bolt, just to see which tool performs better when it comes to the entire app building process. But trust me, Firebase Studio is where the real magic happens. So let's jump right in and see how Firebase Studio is reshaping the future of app development. Just a quick information guys, if you're interested in mastering the future of technology, then the professional certificate course in generative AI and machine learning is the perfect opportunity for you. Offered in collaboration with the ENICT Academy, IT Kanpur, this 11-month live and interactive program offers hands-on expertise in cutting-edge areas like generative AI, machine learning, and tools like ChatGPT, DALI2, and even Hugging Face. So hurry up and enroll now and find the course link in the description box below and in the pinned comments. So let's get started. So let's get started with our Firebase Studio. It's very simple. Just head over to Google, search for Firebase Studio and just click on the very first link which you see. And from here, you can just see the interface of the Firebase Studio. Now first, let me break it down for you what Firebase Studio is. So basically, it's a cloud-based tool from Google that helps you build full-stack web apps directly from your browser. And when we say cloud-based, we mean you don't need to install anything on your computer. All you need to do is a Google account to log in and you are ready to go. So you can see it's written here, Firebase Studio accelerates your entire development lifecycle with AI agents, build backends, front-end and mobile apps all in one place. So basically, it covers and combines everything you need to build in an app which is the front-end design tools, the Firebase services like Firestore, for your app databases, the auth, which is for the user login, and the hosting for making your app available to users worldwide. Now you can imagine Firebase Studio as your personal assistant that help you not just with the techie parts of development, but also with the creative aspects like designing and even prototyping. So this is how the interface would look like and this is the preview of the uh, Firebase Studio. So now we'll just click on Get Started from here. So first, we'll just set up our account, our Firebase Studio. So as you can see, I have logged in from my account. And remember, if you haven't logged in, just simply log in to your account. And here it's mentioned prototype an app with AI, where you'll just have to uh, simply describe and what you're actually building. Okay, just simply mention, give the correct prompts, the layout, the UX design, what features and everything. So as you can see from here, we've got more sample prompts as well, which is the tipping calculator, recipe generator. So when I just click on the recipe generator from here, it will just directly come this thing. I mean, create a simple recipe maker that generates recipes based on the ingredients. So you can just simply start with it and just click on prototype with AI from here. So uh, for now, I'll just uh, show you how you can actually create a website. So we'll just give the proper prototype for it. But before that, we can also see whether you can import a repository or not to this. So you can also do that. If you click here, you can just enter the repo URL from here or you can upload your existing project. And if you want to make any modifications or changes, you can do that. And then you can just name your workspace. Now, if your app is based on Flutter, then you can just simply click this uh, button from here and just select import. 
So I'll just head over back to the dashboard again and uh, see there are other tools as well if you need to code using Python Flask or maybe Java, .NET, Android Studio Cloud, Flutter, and this is the Angular. So you've got plenty of multiple options. So whatever tool you want to create your website with, you can just simply just start coding your app using that particular platform. But for now, we'll be using Gemini to show it. So now I'll just give a prompt like, so my prompt is to design a professional online learning platform with a clean modern layout. Use a blue and white color scheme with light accents to keep the design fresh and easy to navigate. And the website should have the following sections. Remember just briefly mention what header display the navigation menu would look like. So more proper your prompt is, it's very important that your website would look that efficient if you give proper prompts and commands. So uh, I've given all the sections mentioned. So first is the header. I've in told uh, the Firebase Studio to include a logo on the top left. Then I have also displayed the CTA button, which should be like start learning today. And I've added the search bar as well. So this is the navigation menu, what you want to add in a navigation menu. So I've listed the course certification pricing about us. But I've told to insert a feature of a large image or video background showcasing learners or course content. Then you can also include headlines, this add CTA, courses overview, testimonial sections, why choosers, everything I've mentioned and I've given the proper content also. So... Uh, so I've given the prompt and it is uh, based on a similar structure as our learning platform, which is of Simply Learns. So um, I've also mentioned that, but then um, I can just remove it from here. Okay. And then I'll just uh, click on prototype with AI. Now let's see the AI will just make our website in few minutes. Now see, this is where things get to start really cool. Now AI for code generation, you can actually tell Firebase Studio exactly what kind of app you want and it writes the code for you. So you can see it has mentioned, uh, it has given me a blueprint and it has also given me the name of our website, which is the Learniverse, which is really cool. And you can have, you have this edit option from here. So in case you want to remove the feature of course listings, the hero section or header navigation. And if you want to just change the content, you can do that. We also have these style guidelines from here and it has hues, colors as white and blue. But then I'll just describe to uh, change the color. Change the color to blue, yellow, and green. All right. And I'll just hit this arrow button. All right. So it has again updated this uh, prototype here and it has given the style guidelines as blue, yellow, and green color. The layout is using a responsive grid layout. The iconography is consistent, modern set of icons and categories and animations as well. So now we'll just, if you're dissatisfied with everything, just click this prototype this app. Now you see it started to prototype this app and it has given all the file changes, the animations which we have added. So now the AI will automatically generate the front end and the back end code behind the scenes and how the app will work. Like you don't even have to type a single line of code. So as you can see, it's working on the CSS file now. You can actually see from here what components it's adding, it's creating. I mean, just see within just a few minutes, everything it's doing. So now it's adding the component layout header section. Now it's adding the footer components from here. So we'll just uh, wait and just see how it actually codes for a few minutes. So it's actually adding step by step all the features like first it added the hero section, the course overview, testimonial, why choosers, the pricing plans and everything. So now you can see that the first iteration of your app prototype is ready. You can try out in the preview window and describe the changes you would like to make below. So it has actually used all the packages and installed everything which was needed. And all the codes have been done. You can just check the files from here, the components added and the package needed. So you can just preview our file from here. And now you see our fully functional web page is ready. And here we have it, everything listed. I mean, it looks pretty cool, right? See, 
I am really satisfied with it because uh, it has given me a really subtle, minimalistic, sleek layout web page which I had mentioned. The name is Learniverse, and you see the animation hover is also there. So uh, initially, it's really good. You can actually type any courses. You can just click on Start Learning Today, and we have explore popular courses. You can just select from here. And these are the courses, marketing and everything. And then we have the data science, cloud computing. So you can actually change the pictures of the images because I think the pictures are not relevant to our courses mentioned. But then again, obviously, you can't expect so much from an AI to do. And we also have a testimonial section on what our students say. And we have why choose the universe. So we, it's pretty cool. We also have the pricing structure mentioned. And this is the footer section here. We have terms of service, policies, stay updated. You can enter your mail also from here. And I think it looks pretty good. And if you want to add much more modification again in the background, you can also do that. But then I would actually rate uh, 7 out of 10 for this AI to work, Fiber Studio. I mean, it's pretty impressive, but then... Yeah, so there's one more thing I would like to add, which is the voice integration with Aqua Voice. So this is another awesome feature. So we have headed over to this website, which is the Aqua Voice Generator. And you can see from here, so you don't have to actually type everything. So you can actually install this and download in your Windows. And uh, a section will just head and pop over here, something like this. And you don't have to actually type everything, just speak and the it will write the code i mean the prompt which you're giving to the ai so you can actually install it and yeah you can uh, use this feature it is a total game changer so now that i've shown you the magic of firebase studio you can also edit the code from here and um, and you can publish it from here but since we have the free plan we don't have the premium access feature yeah, so you can see you can actually publish your app from here. So uh, it's mentioned. So first is your Firebase project and next is your link cloud billing account. So actually you'll have to pay for this. All right. So you can just uh, click next upgrade from here and just you can see how to create your billing account actually. So this is the terms and services which you would need to agree and uh, you see from here you have the currency mentioned and the Firebase payment but now we'll just see it later. All right. So now that you have seen uh, how it made our work much more easier, now let's compare Firebase Studio with some other amazing AI tools out there. So I'll just compare this first with the lovable AI. You must have heard of it. So we'll just search on Google Lovable AI. This is one more another uh, feature to actually create your full stack app ready. Let's just see, is it really good or how does it stand out in front of Firebase Studio? So you can see it's ready and build something lovable idea to app in seconds with your personal full stack engineer. So now I'll just give a very simple prompt to create an e-commerce store. So I have added that create an e-commerce website using Next.js. So I'll just remove this using Next.js. And with the following key features, the home page, search, product pages, card button and everything. And now we'll just compare how it actually generates. And uh, yeah, we'll just compare it with the Fiber Studio. So we'll just click on this arrow button again here. We'll wait for a few seconds. So you can see it's written working on it now. You also have this option of edit attach. So it's actually spinning up the preview. So now that you can see that the lovable has, so it has actually given me that I'm excited to help you to create a modern e-commerce website. And uh, this is the website and the version and the features it has added, the homepage button and everything. So you can see our website is actually ready and it looks pretty cool, right? I mean, yeah, it's good. Uh, we also have again this animation section from here, the new arrivals and everything. So we'll just um, so we'll just preview it in a new tab. Yeah. So you see our website is now ready. We have the home shop category section, everything, the cart option which I told it before. And uh, for this, I think it has really added the uh, relevant images as per as the uh, things the categories mentioned. So if I compare this with Firebase Studio, then yeah, it's a bit more smarter as compared to it. But then again, Firebase also worked really good. And yeah, for me, I would rate it like 
maybe eight out of ten or nine because it was really good. We'll again compare it with one more AI tool out there, which is Poll. dot Q. You guys have must heard of it, obviously. So we'll just again see that how it actually stands, and then we will just rank it again. So again, I have given the same prompt as I have given to Lovable AI, and I'll just check what type does it generate and uh, what is the basic differences actually. So again, I'll just hit on this uh, arrow button from here, and we'll just see if this is actually worth the hype or not. So it's actually given the thinking option from here. It's taking some time. So these are the core features to be added and the design elements it has given. And now it has started coding. You see, you don't actually have to create any package files or anything. It does it automatically. You just have to just give two, three lines of prompt, and everything will be done in seconds. So you can see the code preview section is also available here. I think the interface of Bold dot New is really cool. Or uh, If I compare it with the Firebase Studio, but then again, Firebase Studio also has a lot of features as compared to Bold dot New and Lovable AI. But then, yeah, let's just see. It will just take some time to give the code. So as you can see from here, that our website is ready, fully functional website. So we'll just click on this preview option from here and just check our website ready. I mean, just look at it. It looks really, really premium. The name also it has mentioned as the Lux Store, and we have a featured product, smart watches, everything. This is like very different if we compare it with Lovable and Firebase Studio because just look at the font and the design it has created for us. So I think it's really good. So if I would have to rate this and compare it with others, then I would surely rate it ten out of ten because, you know, it's really awesome. But so let's rank three of our AI tools which we have used today. At first, I would like to rank a uh, Bold dot New for it. Second, we have Firebase Studio, and then third, we've got this uh, Lovable. So yeah. So now let's again head back to our Firebase Studio, and we'll just see what is the future of Firebase Studio. So well, right now it's in a preview mode, so we are still seeing some improvements here. But then there's a lot of potential here. It can actually outstand Bold dot New as well. Now Google is working on real time collaboration so that the teams can build apps together in the same space. As it now continues to improve, Firebase Studio will become the go to tool for anyone looking to build app fast and easy. So guys, that's a wrap up on this video. If you have any doubts or question, ask them in the comment section below. Our team of experts will reply you as soon as possible. Thank you and keep learning with Simply Learn. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting-edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there! If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.